Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get to Untended Graves in Dark Souls 3. To do this, we're going to start off at the Dancer of the Boreal Valley Bonfire in uh, High Wall of Lothric. Could be considered Lower Wall, I guess. But once you defeat the Dancer, you're going to get this ladder to drop down, and then we're going to go up. Normally you'd go forward in order to progress through the rest of the game, but here we're going to go to the left and access this optional area. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the shortcut, because um, I already have it open, but normally you would just take care of that knight right there, and then hug, uh, go down to the ground level, and then hug the right wall to access this shortcut elevator that I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take care of these guys just because it's easier. Uh, they buff up these small dudes you drop from the ceiling, who are some of my least favorite enemies in the game. They're very, very annoying. Chances are I don't have this elevator up. Nope, I don't. Okay, so we got to call it back up. Hopefully these small guys don't follow. Call this up. Okay. Alright, good. Now in case you're wondering how I have Solaire's armor, it's gotten through Snugly the Crow on top of Ireland Shrine. Uh, there's a guide on Reddit that shows you what to drop for each one. I think it's uh, the Sieg Brew, that, uh, Siegmar, or whatever his name, uh, See, what is his name now? I forget. Uh, I've been playing this game for so long. I haven't slept much. Uh, he gives you one of those. The next thing is a Homeward Bone uh, Seed of the Tree of Giants, which has a chance of dropping right outside of Firelink Shrine, right by the tower. And then there's one other thing that I'm forgetting that you have to drop to get the last piece. But yeah, so we're going to drop down. We're going to go past these big dudes and go right in here. There is a boss here, I won't spoil the name, but essentially you could start at this boss's bonfire if you are if you already have it unlocked, but uh, I just wanted to start from the very beginning to give you the full path. Um, that area that I just went through, I just took a shortcut through, is not very big. Uh, it's sort of just a path and the boss. But there are some tough enemies in there. It's meant to be late game, um, and in Untended Graves there's another boss that is also meant to be late game. So we're just going to go through these catacombs here, and then there's going to be one enemy we will take care of right now. That's interesting that there's something waiting for me right there. Uh, this... Oh, I just got parried. Yeah, if you've never seen these guys repost animation, it's pretty funny. Hope that doesn't happen again. Okay, you're dead. What is this? Oh! Interesting. Okay, so... If you watch my video on how to get to Arch Dragon Peak or Arch Drake Peak, that has to do with that. Okay, so uh, normally there's going to be a wall here. It's an illusory wall. Just break through it. And then you're going to come down this left cliff face. And then that is going to be the bonfire for untended graves. As soon as the title comes up, you get the achievement. And that's it. Um, yeah, there's really not much else. Uh, there's another boss in here along with a whole bunch of other stuff for a story. Definitely suggest checking it out. It's a really, really sick area. And there's even something in here on how to get a different ending. So, yeah, definitely come here. <laughs> uh... If this video helped you, be sure to, be sure to share it with anybody else who needs any sort of help. Uh, be sure to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. It goes a long way for us here at Job Squad. Uh, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.